Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a psychic and a healer. So I am now doing a different video format. I'm going to be doing the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine in one collective video. So the first card I'm getting for the Divine Feminine is the Page of Wands. So with the Page of Wands, I'm seeing that the Divine Feminine is in the middle of transmuting a lot of energy directed at... um. Directed at the Divine Masculine, yes, such as heartbreak, such as um, frustration, um, anxiety, and I'm also seeing a lot of impatience being transmuted as well. So the Divine Feminine is being guided to um, trust in the process, and I feel as though manifestation blocks are being cleared as well. See, the Divine Feminine is moving out of her masculine energy and into more feminine energy. She's striking a balance between the two energies. But the road card, I feel like so the divine feminine is at the edge of a cycle when it comes to um, doubting her journey. See, the divine feminine has been back and forth about her spiritual journey, wondering whether she's even on it or maybe even she's made it up in her head. So I am seeing that a lot of trauma revolving around gaslighting is being cleared at the moment. See, the Divine Feminine is also being guided to um, delve into the subconscious and to clear that um, feeling of low self-worth to stop um, selling herself short. And I am seeing that the Divine Feminine may be getting dreams from the divine that are very prophetic and very foretelling. And these dreams indicate a transformation. See, the divine feminine is transforming herself, slowly but surely. She is letting go of ego consciousness and is um, ascending more to Christ consciousness. With the judgment card, I am seeing that the divine feminine is at the brink of it she's at the brink of change and this change has to do with how she perceives the world so i do see that the divine feminine self-limiting beliefs are keeping her from effectively navigating the journey right now she's thinking about the long reasons why she can't and she's procrastinating so the divine is saying that she needs to take that leap of faith she needs to trust that everything will be all right because the Divine Feminine needs to push herself to the... She needs to push herself. She's being a little bit complacent. And I do see the Divine recognizes that. They're saying that she can't, um, she can't hold herself back forever. Sooner or later, she must jump. With the Four of Wands, I am seeing that the Divine Feminine is clearing communication blocks right now. There is a lot of energy going around with Mercury being in um, a shadow period. And this energy has to um, do, it fluctuates. It's, um, like I said, frustration, anger, anxiety, all of that. And I do see the Divine Feminine is clearing um, her attachment style as well. So the Divine Feminine is anxious or disorganized or avoidant. I feel as though the Divine Feminine is becoming much more centered in her new sense of self. I am also seeing the Divine Feminine is really modifying the way she speaks overall. So, in the past, the Divine Feminine was inclined to act on impulse, to say what was really on her mind. And now the Divine Feminine has learned to be the observer. She has learned to realize that, um, to pause before she speak, to contemplate her next words. So, the Divine Feminine is finding that um, balance. She's but finding out which battles are um, best fought and which ones are requiring a tactical retreat. With the Five of Wands, I am seeing that the Divine Masculine is clearing a... I mean, Divine Feminine, my bad. Um, I feel as the Divine Feminine is clearing a lot of um, energy. Like I said, a lot of energy is being cleared right now for Divine Feminine. She's clearing a lot of energy when it comes to the Divine Masculine. So it may seem as though some Divine Feminines may be feeling as though she's a Divine Masculine, but she's actually in uh, masculine energy to work to herself. So she's being guided to push herself out of the energy, to find that balance, and to know that she shouldn't give up on the journey. She shouldn't give up on 
um, things right now with the Divine Masculine because it may seem as though he has regressed, but that's not really the case. What's happening is that the Divine Masculine is going through a transformation. And let's now look at Divine Masculine's energies. So the first card I'm getting is Chop Wood. So the Divine Masculine is letting go of all that no longer serves him. So he's letting go of what he thought was his real self. He is letting go of his programming. And he's starting to see that he was mistaken about a lot of things. He's had a fresh new perspective on his karma situation. No matter what he does, he cannot undress it. He feels like the situation is horrific. With the exchanging gifts, I do feel as though he has a lot of passion for the Divine Feminine right now. He wants to come in and express his um, truest, deepest thoughts, but he's unsure on how to do that. So I do see a lot of Divine Masculines right now are testing the waters by collecting data on the Divine Feminine, trying to gauge where she's at when it comes to her feelings for him. Other Divine Masculines are just going to um, wing it and come in. So I do see again a lot of Divine Masculines want to come forward communication. They want to show um, there's a difference in their behavior. So I do see again with why he's asking a lot of questions about his connection right now and about how it relates to the Divine Feminine. See, he sees now that he was settling for less. He sees now that he was um, selling himself short, but he doesn't know how to come back from this. So I do see a lot of Divine Masculines are in an existential crisis right now. They are thinking that this is, um, yeah, they're, they're thinking a lot of things. They're thinking about whether they made the right call. They're thinking about um, whether the Divine Feminine will not forgive them. I feel as though there's a lot of chaos in the crown chakra. A lot of overthinking going on. I mean, blessed, I feel as though the Divine Masculine must remember that, um, seeing a lot of Third Eye Chakra activations, he must remember that everything that has happened for to him thus far was instrumental for his learning experience. It was instrumental for his growth. So he shouldn't um, be too harsh on himself because I do see he needs to love himself right now. He needs to free himself from that harsh criticism. He needs to see just how divinely blessed he is in many areas. Because the divine masculine is innately a good person. He has a lot of, um, as well, he's, he looks after himself. He also has a good head on his shoulders. And I think he needs to figure out, he needs to be more um, grateful for that. I think a lot of divine masculines are being guided to do some um, mindfulness. They're also being called to uh, connect with spirit right now because I do see a lot of um, downloads are coming through for the Divine Masculine. And the last card I'm getting is by the book. So a lot of Divine Masculine's um, perception of their overall journey is being challenged right now. It's, be, it's looking as though that their situation is not... Um, it, it seems as though it's everything they could ever ask for, but they feel this deep sense of satisfaction. They know now that they are meant for something more, but I feel as though the limitations that they place on themselves are boxing them in right now. And I feel as though the divine is urging them to clear blocks of freedom. They need to stop defining themselves out the matrix and start embracing who they really are. And that's what I get for the Divine Masculine. So this wraps up the reading for... Um, the 26th of March. I hope it resonated. I will see you another time. Namaste. And um, if you want to book a personal with me, my email and Facebook link is in the description box below.